Happy Carnival! Guys, it's carnival season and Malta is without exception. Malta has been enjoying the carnival since the 15th century and dates back to the time of the Maltese Knights. Carnival in Malta and Gozo is so colorful, guys. I have never seen floats so beautiful or costumes so amazing in my life. Now, the Carnival in Malta originally started, as I said, in the 15th century, and it was more of a political satire. In recent times, things have changed. There are still some political floats, but we take everything with a grain of salt here in Malta. Guys, the floats are made out of pepper mache, and a lot of them are moving and they light up, and it's absolutely fantastic. They are judged, and there is an exceptional show right in front of the palace in Malta. You have to see Maltese Carnival. So on today's segment of Memories of Malta, we're going to be making a special Maltese Carnival treat called Prignolata. Now Prignolata, the word Prignu means pine nut, and there are pine nuts in this treat. So guys, without further ado, let's get in the kitchen and make Prignolata and celebrate Carnival Maltese style. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen countertop. We're going to go ahead and make our prignolata. The first step is we need to make a cake or like a pound cake. Guys, you can skip this step altogether if you want and cheat and purchase one up to you. All the amounts will be below in the description bar. Click on show more. So in this bowl here, I have some eggs to which I'm going to add some caster sugar. Caster sugar is just a little bit finer than granulated. And then what I'm going to do is add about a teaspoon or so of vanilla. And then I want the zest of one lemon to go in here. Just the skin, guys. Don't get the, the white pith. So I'm going to continue zesting my lemon. And then we're going to start mixing and whipping this together until nice and smooth. And I'll show you what that looks like and when I get back. Guys, check out how old school I am. <laughs> so, heat your eggs and sugar for about five minutes or so. Until your arms fall off. Obviously, if you have a stand mixer or an electric beater, I'll put that to you. Right, to which I'm going to add my self rising flour. Okay, now I have it in this bag, which happens to be the exact amount I need. So it all goes in. Now guys, you can have this recipe if you like. Um, you don't have to uh, make as much as I am. But I'm, I plan on sharing this with a lot of people. So go ahead, mix your flour, egg and sugar, vanilla and lemon mixture together. And then I'll bring you back when that's all done. Hey guys, so the mixture is all done. Don't mix it too much. And the self-rising flour um, activates quite quickly. So what I'm gonna do from here is transfer this into a buttered baking dish. I'm going to set this at 200 C in the oven and bake for about 25 minutes or until toothpick comes out clean. It doesn't matter how thick this is guys because eventually this is all going to be broken up. 
so it doesn't matter. You can put it in a small in dish, a large one, just make sure it's cooked all the way through. So I'm going to continue with this, get it all smoothed out, pop it in the oven, bake it, and I'll bring you back when I pull it out. Hey guys, so our cake portion of our primulata is out of the oven now. It smells divine. It smells lemony and sweet. Now this is kind of like a cake biscuity kind of concoction. As I said, you could use a pound cake if you don't want to make this on your own. Um, but I'm going to let this cool and I will bring you right back and show you what I do with this once it's cooled down. Hey guys, while we're waiting for our sponge cake to cool down, what I have in here is um, butter. Um, there's a lot of butter in here. There's 500 grams, but again, all the amounts will be below. To, it is room temperature. Um, to which I'm going to add some icing sugar. I'm going to want to mix this until it's light and fluffy. Starts off rough guys, but it'll get easier. So I'm going to continue mixing this and I'll bring you back. As you can see, it's starting to take shape. And I'll bring you back when this is done. It doesn't take long, guys. Alright, gang, so my icing sugar and butter is all whipped. Um, essentially what we're making is kind of like a buttercream. Now guys, um, please taste it and adjust the icing sugar to your sweetness level. I actually added a bit more, um, so what I added will be um, in the description box below. So this is all done nice and fluffy. I'm going to just set this aside and I'll show you what we do next. Alright guys, so now to our buttercream, I'm going to add some condensed milk. You can see why we only eat this once a year, guys. <laughs> However, Malta is known for its uh, treats for every single festa or festival or holiday and there are a lot during the year So get all that condensed milk out It's sweetened condensed milk by the way guys <laughs> And to which I'm going to add another teaspoon of vanilla. And then I'm going to add some vermouth. If I can get the filler in. And little fiddly bottles. Um, save some vermouth aside. I'm just using these little teeny bottles. Save some aside. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to mix this until very smooth. Oh, it smells amazing, guys. And you may want to switch to your whisk. It smells incredible. I just want to jump in have a bath in So continue whisking this until it becomes very smooth and I'll show you briefly what that looks like. Guys, do you see how light and airy and fluffy this is? It smells incredible. Absolutely incredible. And I am going to have a taste because I need to. Wow. That's nice, guys. Really nice. So now we have this beautiful, fluffy concoction. Part of our filling for our pinulata ready. 
now it's time to set this aside and we're going to start building our pinolata with our sponge. Alright guys, so I have a very large bowl here and as you can see our sponge has cooled down. I'm going to um, break this up. Oh, and have a piece. What I want to do now is break this into very, very small pieces. Um, be patient. So I'm going to start with what I have in the bowl here. I may need to change bowls actually um, to a larger one. But I'm going to continue breaking my sponge into small pieces and I'll bring you back when that's done. So this is the next step, just break your sponge up into small pieces. Okay guys, so I've gone ahead and crumbled up all of my sponge cake. Uh, just be patient. I sat and watched a couple of my favorite YouTube videos. Now, obviously, my bowl isn't big enough, guys. I don't have a big bowl. So, <laughs> I'm going to transfer this into my big roasting pan. If you guys have a bowl that's big enough, send it to me. <laughs> Right, so just go through it again, make sure everything is kind of crumbled up, broken up, make sure your hands are clean. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some things to our Pinolata filling. So, I'm going to start with some whiskey. Just a bit. A bit. Pour it over. It smells good. Sweet whiskey. Yum. And then I'm going to go ahead and add, guys, are some chocolate chips. I'm using dark chocolate. And then I'm going to add some crushed walnuts. Now guys, um, traditionally, as I said, this would be done with pine nuts. I am going to be using pine, pine nuts later on. You shall see that. Um, however, pine nuts are very expensive. And for the filling, it's okay, go ahead, use walnuts. Some Maltese even use almonds. Um, even store-bought ones, guys, nowadays have almonds instead of pine nuts because they're just really expensive. So, go ahead and add your walnuts. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some candy peel. And what I'm going to do now, guys, is just give this a little mix. So I'll bring you back and I'll show you what I do next. So just mix this up. smells amazing guys it's carnival it smells like carnival already looks great smells great can't wait all right guys I'll bring you right back guys what I'm adding in now alternatively you can add in some um, candied um, cherries maraschino cherries just a few. I'm putting in green ones in here. And you're going to want to have some 
maraschino cherries or candy cherries left over for the decoration as well, which I'm going to be using red, but up to you guys. Right. That's saying, guys, now it's time to add our beautiful fluffy, fluffy mixture here. Want some here? Not for you, Mandula. Sorry for the angle, guys. So all of this goes in now. Try and get every last bit. And then we're going to mix this up. I really want to go in there with my hands. <laughs> It'll all come together. Just be patient again. Mix this together thoroughly. I'll bring you back once it's all mixed in together. After a while, guys, you can actually switch to your hand. Smush and mix and blend. Get everything incorporated. And it will almost feel like a bit of a crumbly dough. I'm going to continue mixing this and I'll bring you back. Hey guys, so what I'm going to do now is I'm starting to pile my prinolata on a plate. And the traditional form of a prinolata is like a large dome or a cone. And they say it's supposed to resemble a snow-capped mountain, which is kind of strange because we don't have snow in Malta and we don't have mountains. Okay. <laughs> it's a fantasy. It's carnival. So continue piling and packing. I want to make a nice large dome. So I'm going to continue with this and I'll bring you guys back to show you when it's all complete. Alright guys, I'm continuing building my Pinulata dome my peak my cat likes it and just keep building it up smushing it and building it up and then once you have it all in there you can start forming it I find if you wet your hands a little bit it does help building up the pinolata and forming it and shaping it. Now guys you can make this just into a simple dome. That's fine. Um, a lot of shops just sell this in like a dome kind of shape. Um, at the actual carnival or at the markets you'll see these huge quite massive. So you can really make this into any shape. You can make it into a loaf. Um, but I'm trying to make somewhat of a traditional shape of Prignolata. So guys, I'm really happy with my shape. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to pop this into the fridge if I can find room. And this needs to chill for quite a bit before we decorate. 
finish it up. And I'll bring you back and show you what we do to do that. Hey guys, it's time to get our decoration ready for our Prinulata. So what I have in this bowl is some double heavy cream to which I'm going to add leftover of our little bit of vermouth that we saved. And then some icing sugar. I want 200 grams of this, which is half of this package. Just eyeballing it. That looks pretty good to me. A little bit more. And so what I'm going to do from here is we're going to start whisking this until it gets thick into somewhat of a topping that we can coat our Prinulata with. So I'm going to go ahead and start whisking this and I'll bring you back when that's all done. Alright guys, whip this until you get a nice whipped topping. Seriously, until your arms fall off. If you have an electric feeder, please use it. This is looking great. Nice and thick. Mmm. That tastes great. So, I'll bring you back and show you what I do next. All right guys, time to decorate. So I have my chilled pinolata out of the fridge and I have my beautiful whipped topping here. So what we're gonna start to do is obviously start to coat. So let's go around your pinulata coating as you go and you want to cover every inch of it obviously and what I'll do is I'll continue like this and I'll bring you back when it's completely coated. Alright guys so the pinulata has been iced I'm just going to go around with a damp, clean tea towel to clean everything on the plate. I, I did clean as I went as well. So guys, I'm just going to let this chill just slightly for a bit, and then we're going to decorate, and our pinata will be done. Hey guys, now it's time to adorn our pinulata. What I have are some glazed cherries that I've cut in halves. And we're going to go ahead and be creative. Put them wherever you want. So continue. Go around your pinulata. Put in your glazed cherries as you want where you want and I'll bring you back and that's all done hey guys so all of the glazed cherries are on my pinulata and now here come pine nuts now as I said guys these are expensive so I save them for the decoration um, the best way really to put these on is just to kind of toss them on like that. You might get some thrown about. That's okay. So continue 
tossing on your pine nuts, which I actually have roasted, guys. Sorry, I to mention you. They are roasted. And you're going to continue all around your pinolata until you have enough pine nuts that you see fit. It's your pinolata. It's your carnival. Hey guys, the last bit of our decoration to our Pringulata is some chocolate. What I have here is some dark chocolate, happens to be 85% cacao. You can melt this however you like. You can melt this in the microwave or in a double boiler. Up to you. Just go ahead and melt up the chocolate and I'll show you what we do. I'm sure you know. Hey guys, our beautiful Prignolata is all ready to be further decorated and all that's up to do is to put on that melted chocolate. So I've melted my chocolate with a little bit of butter in the micro and then you're just going to want to smoosh it on, drizzle it on. However you see fit. Don't worry, you can clean up after. It's kind of out after all. A creative. And you gotta work a little bit quick, guys, so the, um, the chocolate doesn't set completely on you. But that's looking pretty, pretty darn good to me. I'm working fast, but you guys can take your time. So, there's our Pinulata, guys. Happy Carnival to all of you. Please like, share, subscribe if you haven't. My Facebook page will be also below. Guys, thank you so much for watching Memories of Malta here on the Euro Cooking Canuck. Please some pics to follow, and I really appreciate all of you. Happy Carnival, guys. Ciao.